So here with the clear perspective folks. So I wanted to explain you each and everything for you uh, with uh, with the detailed understanding and with the clear understanding basically folks here. All right. So hi, my name is Akash folks. I, uh, I am running a uh, YouTube channel Akash Saman Tech with Akash channel. Okay. So in this particular video, we'll be going to discuss about the arrays concept. So we'll be going to understand basically about it. So let's discuss. Let's discuss about it first. That part first. Okay. All right. So understand now what is an array, right? Uh, I didn't got any of the response in the YouTube channel, so uh, I'm just explaining you the things here now, right now. Okay. So let let understand what is array. Okay. Uh, what? is array before going to the definition folks i wanted to explain you with the clear things what is an array basically means okay understand like you have you have a same boxes right you have a same values same gifts you have right so what you will be going to do you will be organizing into a particular uh, container or something right so array is nothing but see understand arrays is a type of a values you can store same type of values into a single name okay understand this is a three uh, three values let's say like there is a 10 value value 10 20 and 30 okay so these three values are there so now what you have to do you have to uh, access this thing particularly with respect to the index all right so we have we should access through the indexes okay whatever you take the computer will understand from zeroth index first index and second index all right so this is a particular thing you have to understand about it so first first to understand it basically array can store the data of a specific type of a specific type i mean that it is an integer values it can be a floating point values it can be a uh, what kind of values string kind of values can also it can have okay so each element each element means each value we can access using this index only okay let's suppose let's understand like this thing um, i have explained you same type of values if i wanted to store we have to use the concept of an array right the next concepts you will be coming in your mind is why do we need arrays right so let's take a particular use case let's say uh, you have a 500 students okay let's say you have a three variables number one number two number three you will be going to use the variables all right you will be going to use the variables let's suppose you have number one one two and three you will be creating the separate variables i understood this use case okay correct hey agash you are telling the correct way okay fine i will be going to create a variable here now it's fine right so next thing next thing what i wanted to say uh, tell you is let's say what if you have uh, you have a multiple number of variables multiple multiple elements you want to store with the same elements let's say let's take an use case in this way i will take another color so that it will be very easy all right let's say you have a you wanted to store 500 integer values folks okay 500 integer values is this a uh, in a, like correct approach that uh, you will use 500 variables for this pause this video and tell me folks okay uh, like 
this is a particular use case you noted to understand in the next video we will be going to discuss about what kind of a types of an array is about and we will be going to deal with it okay so understand uh, give me answer in the comment down below folks if you have 500 integer variables what's your approach basically okay so anyhow you will be giving in the comment down below folks so let's discuss uh, we will be not we will be not declaring okay we will be not declaring 500 variables here okay are you understanding folks we are not creating 500 integer values basically here okay we are doing here basically only for one thing here what we are doing basically we are creating one memory location we don't know how much index let's suppose 500 is there then we will be going to create such type of values basically okay so so we will be going to discuss in the next video uh, types of an array okay so i hope you understood up till here folks i don't wanted to create huge huge videos if i create a content uh, one hour no one will be going to listen to it okay so i am creating a series particular series of the data structures and algorithm folks so you can have it you can have a look of it and you have you can understand in very simple layman terms basically so uh, i hope i hope you understood folks i am creating a content which is very valuable of with your folks and energy perspective it is very important okay so let me know in comment down below folks i am creating a also like creating a content that will bring some value uh, to it okay so that's it about this video folks i hope you enjoyed this video particularly so let me know in comment down below how uh, this uh, uh, the setup you are liking liking it uh, so previous uh, i asked in the in the previous video as well no one comment down below so just just let me know if you like it then it's fine yeah thanks thanks folks this this is this was about this particular video uh, we'll meet in the next video and we will be going to discuss the next concept in the next video thanks 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 a lot